This video is a commentary on the incident with Mr. Kurt Zuma, the defender for England's Premier League soccer team West Ham United. In early February, he kicked his cat across the floor and a video was taken which went semi-viral. Now, I'm not going to show you that video, so if that's the only thing you came for, I just wanted to let you know that. Now, it's clear from the video that it was not an accident. Many of us have kicked our cats accidentally. They get underfoot and we don't see them. It was also was not a gentle nudge that he was just playing, trying to play with the cat. It wasn't even a spontaneous act of aggression or anger or frustration. Mr. Zuma deliberately went into a different room, got his cat, brought it where there was a videographer or his brother or somebody taking a video, put it on the floor and kicked it across the floor. He then uh, proceeded to throw a shoe at it while the cat was running away. And later when a kid picked it up, he slapped the cat out of the kid's hand onto the floor. Now, I have no way of knowing why he did all that. All I can say is that during the whole video, whoever was taking the video was laughing. So at least one of them thought that this activity was funny. Now, the incident is being investigated by the RSCPA in England, and the cats have been taken away temporarily while this investigation is going on. Apparently, they're fine. Now, while Mr. Zuma is not um, the first person to kick a cat and certainly won't be the last, he is a major celebrity in England. People pay attention to what he does and kids imitate what he does. With that kind of celebrity and the big money that comes with it also comes, in my opinion, a certain amount of responsibility, which he does not seem to take very seriously. Now, Mr. Zuma's team did penalize him two weeks pay, which is about 340,000 US dollars but they did not suspend him even for one game. Now, there was a lot of debate in England as to whether that was enough of a penalty, and I don't know enough to be able to comment on that. But I would like to point out to something that the coach for, not the coach, the manager for the team said about why he was not suspended, why he was played uh, so soon after the incident. He said, my job tonight was to try and win for West Ham and put the best team I could to give me that chance. So basically he was saying that the opportunity to win was more important than the message that his team was saying out, sending out about one of the actions of his players. Well, the business community had something to say about that. Vitality, one of their sponsors, suspended their, the relationship while they investigated the issue. Uh, Experience Kissimmee, which is their tourism partner, canceled their agreement. And Adidas, which had a sponsorship agreement with Mr. Zuma, canceled that sponsorship. Now, some people might call this cancel culture, but I think that if you can't back up what you believe and your values with real action, what's the point? I think that businesses should do this more often, even if it sometimes hurts the bottom line. And businesses are doing exactly that in Russia because of their invasion of Ukraine. I think it's a good thing. But I just don't really understand why Mr. Zuma kicked the cat. It's incomprehensible to me. I would never kick one of my cats, even if they're being annoying, which they sometimes can be very annoying. But getting the cat from another room, bringing it in where it, there is a videotape going on and kicking it across the floor deliberately, that makes no sense. And Mr. Zuma has not explained why he did that even though he did apologize. It makes me think that Mr. Zuma does not consider his cats members of his household, members of his family, but merely as trophies to be owned. The cat looks like a Bengal breed, which uh, cost between $1,500 and $2,000. So maybe for him, they were just that. Now, I'm not criticizing Bengals or the people who own them. I'm just saying that cats should not be trophies. Cats should not be property that uh, are used to boost your ego. No animal should be. So don't get cats as decoration. They're creatures that deserve respect just like any other part of creation. But this whole situation really helps us to think a little bit more about how we treat animals in general. And I'm thinking now in particular about farm animals, especially factory farms. Those animals experience pain, fear, stress, just as much as our domestic animals. We just don't think about it because they don't live in our homes. But for many of them, their lives are total misery from beginning to end. Now, I'm not a vegan, and I understand that humans are omnivores. 
But I think that we should strive to treat whatever animals are in our care as humanely as possible. We should not wait for viral videos of celebrities acting badly. Before we take action on all the animal suffering that we accept without thought or question.